Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about VeChain. You guys see this 8.6% increase in the last 24 hours. Obviously, VeChain going on the rise, seeing a lot of potential to break resistance and see new all time highs. I do want to talk about where VeChain is going to end up by the end of May, June, and 2021. So we will be doing price predictions at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video. Make sure to do so if you are a VeChain holder. We cover VeChain pretty much daily on this channel. So to get started, we take a look at the last week about 11 percent increase in the last month about a 115 percent increase we have a 14.3 billion dollar market cap for v chain and a 2.3 billion dollar volume in the last 24 hours for v chain the circulating supply being that 64.3 billion vet so we see very, very good numbers here. And I do think VeChain is going to break out very, very soon. If we talk about VeChain, it is a cryptocurrency and smart contracts platform focused on supply chain management. It allows manufacturers to add sensors such as RFID tags to their products that can then record data on the VeChain blockchain. So we do have a few different articles and really Twitter posts that we are going to jump in today. We usually don't do technical analysis as much on this channel um, because this is more of a beginner friendly as well as a you know news based uh, you know crypto jump into type deal. We always do the technical analysis before the videos come out. Uh, so let's jump straight into the first one. So VET waking up next target 40 cents, bring it on. So this is just one of the uh, many technical analysis type, uh, you know, Twitter posts out there. Um, and it does look really good. And I, I've looked at this, obviously, like I said, before the video, uh, it's definitely looking good for VET. I think we will continue to see increases. Uh, and I think, you know, the target being 40 cents is pretty accurate. I think, you know, 30 to 40 cents is something that's going to happen. Um, you know, here we have 30 cents income coming yet again from looks like Simon uh, and it is looking very bullish right now I do think we will break out hopefully 30 to 40 cents will come very very soon so going into the next one we have an awesome announcement by items dap building on v chain let's burn that veto so if you guys didn't see this I have covered it in the past couple episodes but I want to make sure you guys do see this kind of information because this is a big deal so we are about to announce our first major customer this month they start printing 1 million plus units with real items smart labels backed by nfts on v chain official serialized qr code for any product some are pretending like they knew nfts were the future now they are playing catch up fyi it's 1 million plus per month they expect it 3 million plus units per month this year they have over 1.5 billion dollars in annual sales so it's huge obviously you know traceability type deal uh it's going to be exciting next we have covid 19 vaccination re records and healthcare transformation enterprise adoption find out what they've been working on with their partners like bayer h&m and more in this interview by crypto uh, JTT, as well as with ecosystem manager. And so basically they talk about, you know, a little bit into, uh, implemented, I guess let's jump into this tweet so we can see it. So I want to learn more about the implemented valuable use cases of blockchain by enterprises. Check out the interview below to learn how companies like H and M Walmart, Bayer and hospitals in Cyprus all built solutions on VeChain. So it's huge, obviously. Um, I do suggest checking this video out. If you want to learn more about it, I'll like it. So you guys can take a look at my Twitter, find my likes, and uh, jump into that video if you want to watch it. Do remember, guys, links in the description of this video. I do have referrals. I have, uh, you know, I have uh, links, I guess, to my Twitter. So you can follow me there, get most recent information on crypto as quickly as possible and then also discord you can talk with me and others in the discord channel we talk pretty much daily on you know crypto uh and see what coins we think are going to be big next so going into the final thing we're going to go into vchain.com this is where you can find all that information about vchain um and you're going to want to do this before investing obviously uh vchain is a big coin it has so many different solutions and there's a lot to cover so we will quickly go over it and then we'll jump back to those price predictions for may june and 2021 do remember guys i am not a financial advisor so always do your own research before investing as this is not financial advice. Jumping down, we see what is VeChain. So the world's leading blockchain application platform driven by enterprise adoption. We have they have the uh, you know professional global team founded in 2015 is one of the you know earliest blockchain technology companies in the world. It has offices in China, Europe, US, Singapore and Japan. They have the proven expertise in many industries. This includes obviously diverse industries like fashion, wine, automobile, food safety, carbon emission reduction and agriculture. They have the easy to deploy blockchain platform and they have the, a partner network for ecosystem expansion this is where it gets big though we see all of their solutions and these are large real, really 
I guess, larger real world solutions that, uh, you know, do play a part in why VeChain is going to be so successful in the near and long term future. So digital carbon ecosystem solution, consumer confidence index platform, automotive passport solution. We have the retail solution, logistics solution, liquefied natural gas solution, digital content distribution solution, electronic document deposit solution, agriculture solution, just a lot there for us. If we take a look now at the top, you can actually go to uh, the products and services is where I was going to try to take you guys. The toll chain, um, you know, it talks about the off the shelf, high scalable, independent deployment and customization, fully functional, secure and reliable, as well as cost efficient. They talk about their core services, obviously being comprehensive product management, value added data service and the authoritative, uh, you know, third party certification. So it goes over the sample case as well. You guys can always pause the video if you want to read a little bit more into this stuff. I won't be, uh, you know, going over too much of this stuff in detail because there is so much to cover. VeChain is a big, big deal. And obviously, you know, a lot going on in the website as well. So let's jump back to our price predictions. Now going back to the price chart, we do see that 22 cent price point right now. Let's give it a quick refresh. Make sure we still have the most recent and up-to-date price. We are still looking at 22 cents, about a 9.8% increase now, uh, continuing to really climb. We're above 22 cents. We are continuing to get farther and farther above 22 cents as well. Looks like we dipped back down to about 22.14. Uh, by the time you're watching this video, I'm sure that you know the price has changed just a little bit because remember guys, uh, unfortunately, I can't instantly upload videos. Uh, it does take a little bit. So when these videos come out, you know, maybe five, 10, 20 minutes later or whatever it is, uh, you know, the price has moved so fast that, you know, we could see a V chain at 23. We could see V chain at 21. So be prepared to see something a little different maybe, uh, but V chain is on the move and I am excited to see where it ends up. Like I said, it's breaking resistances very, very shortly. And I want to talk about where, um, you know, where do we end up seeing V chain by the end of May? So if it may, I think is going to be a big month. Obviously, I think uh, a lot of potential to come in June specifically, but we'll talk about May 1st. May by the end of May really should just be a price point target of about 30 to 40 cents. Do remember guys, 30 to 40 cents is something that's really reasonable, realistic. Um, it would break an all-time high that we currently have at 27 to 28 cent range. So just remember that I always try to stay realistic on this channel when doing price predictions. I try to keep them as conservative as possible because there's nothing worse that I hate than uh, all those thumbnails that just say 100x on things like VeChain. Unfortunately, VeChain has too high of a mark cap. There's no chance at a 100x in the next year. Do remember, guys, though, VeChain has very high potential still. We could still see you know, 30 to 40 cents by the end of May. I think going into June, obviously, if we see Coinbase listings as well as um, you know DHL partnerships that we've been speculating about, that would be huge for VeChain. We would see it hopefully push way higher than I'm speculating at this point. But, uh, you know, for now, I think by the end of June, I think we see about a 60 cent V chain if all of that is input uh, at the very least. Now, realistically, I see a 50 cent V chain by the end of June. I think we at least double by the end of June from where we are right now. So it's a very, very big, um, a very, very, very big step in the right direction. Obviously, um, a lot of people saying, you know, it needs Bitcoin to continue to move up while well, we're seeing Bitcoin do Ooh, excuse me. We're seeing Bitcoin do very well right now. $57,341 uh, continuing to kind of move up in the right direction. And that's, uh, you know, does help VeChain like we've talked about in the past. So we are seeing VeChain continue to rise. And I think, you know, by the end of 2021, we will continue to see it rise. I think by the end of 2021, we'll see right around a $2 to $4 price point for VeChain, hopefully $2, uh, you know, like I said, guys, these are conservative price predictions. We could actually see it go over two to four dollars. To be honest, though, four dollars is pretty uh, pretty widespread there. So I think two to four is definitely something we could see VeChain, you know, remaining in uh, over one dollar for sure. In my opinion, I think VeChain has no chance of you know staying below one dollar unless we see some crazy news happen or some crazy things happen along the way. But you know, for the most part, two to four dollars is where I'm going to pin VeChain. Let me know, guys, in the comments if you guys agree or disagree with my price predictions. As always. Let me know as well if you have any coins you want me to take a look at. I really do appreciate everybody stopping by today, talking about VeChain, listening about VeChain, because there's so much going on with VeChain. A lot of really new uh, newcomers jumping into VeChain because they understand the real world value of VeChain, and it makes perfect sense. So thank you guys again. Subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, like the video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.